Hi everybody. We are going to be going over distributive law today, the distributive law of multiplication. And we're going to be going over the first and second part. Okay. So here I have a four and a six and they came together to our little mat. So I'm going to put parentheses around them. And we're going to multiply both of these numbers by three. Okay. So this says six and four times three. So that means we have to take six times three and four times three. Okay. So let's start with six. So we're going to take six three times and then four, we'll take four three times. Okay, here we go. And what is six times three? Well, if we're not sure, the good news is we can count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm gonna make 18, 10 and an eight. Now, let's find the total for this. 4 times 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, there. And for, to find my total answer, I'm going to put these together. 20, 28, 29, 30. So I'm going to exchange these for because 8 and 2 makes 10. All right. So 6 and 4 times 3 equals 30. Okay, let's do another one. This time, we're going to multiply by 4. How about this? A 7 and a 5. Okay. So this says we need to take 7 and 5 times 4. So we're going to do 7 times 4 and 5 times 4. So I'm going to take out 4 7s and then 4 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so first let's go here. We want to know what 4 times 7 equals. Well, this is 7. 14, 21, 28. We want to figure this one. 5, 10, 15, 20. And when we put these together, we can see this equals 48. So 7 and 5 times 4 equals 48. Let me show you how we can write this down. Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you how to do this on paper. I just have some graph paper here. I am going to start by making some parentheses. Right there. And we're going to do five. So I'm going to mark one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to draw it on my paper. You see how I'm doing my best to stay in my lines here? You're, you're going to want to try to stay in your lines. Okay, the lines of the graph paper, because that's going to help you when we're figuring out the answers. You'll see what I mean by that in a second. And then I'm going to do the number three. One, two, three. And color it in. Close my parentheses, and I'm going to multiply these times 4. So that means we have to take 5 and 3 times 4, so 5 times 4 and 3 times 4. So I'm going to start with my 5. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I need it 4 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 
C5 one, two, three, four times. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. Okay, there's that. Now we need to take three times four. So one, two, three, one time, two times, three times, four times. All right, there we go. So now we just have to find these answers. So we have five, four times. So since we drew inside our squares nicely, we can just count the squares if we're not sure what four times five is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, three times four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. Then we're going to come over here. And, oh, that's a 20, sorry. So we have 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 5 and 3 times 4 equals 32. Okay, so we essentially just did exactly what we did with the beads on the mat. We just did it on paper. We drew it out instead. So you have the option of just doing it on paper where you're drawing out your problems. You have the option of doing it with those printable cutout beads that I sent you and then do it on paper. I mean, you have a couple options here of how you would like to do it. So this is a follow-up work. So you can either do this for your follow-up work or you can do uh, the cutout printable beads. So the distributive law of multiplication tells us that we are going to distribute or pass out the multiplication across all terms or all numbers. So we have to multiply three times four and seven times four. We can't just ignore the seven, right? We can't just ignore the three. We have to multiply each one of the numbers in our multiple can by our multiplier, all right? So make sure you've practiced the first part. You might have already received the first part at school and you were ready for the second part, or you got the second part and now you just need to be practicing it. Maybe you need a refresh. So I'm going to show you the second part so that you can figure out which one is best for you to practice. So we're going to do three and six times five and four. So this says that we have to multiply, do three times five, three times four, six times five, six times four. All right, so let's do that. So we're gonna start by multiplying our three times five. So one, two, three, four, Then we're going to multiply our 6. So 6 times 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now we need to multiply these both by 4. So 3 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 6 times 4. Okay, so let's start by finding this answer. We have three, one, two, three, four, five times. So three, six, nine, 12, 15. And then we have, we have six times five, six, 12, 18, 24, 30. And we'll come down here. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. 
And then we have 6, 12, 18, 24. So we're going to take all of these and we're going to put them together to find our total answer. So here's our tens. So let's add these. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to exchange them and make an 11. I come out with the answer of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81. So 3 and 6 times 5 and 4 equals 81. Let's do another one. Okay, this time we're going to do 3 and 2. And we're going to multiply 3 and 2 by 8 and 9. Okay, so again, this says we need to multiply 8 and 9 times 3 and 2. So 8 times 3, 8 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 2. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to start with multiplying everything by 3. So 8 times 3, and then 9 times 3. And we're going to do everything by 2. 8 times 2 and 9 times 2. Okay, so what is 8 times 3? 8, 16, 24. Twenty-four. Let's look at 9. 9, 18, 27. Those are pretty close, huh? I'm going to move these down some. 27. Now we're doing 8 times 2. 8, 16. And 9 times 2. 9, 18. Okay, and we're going to take all of these. And we are going to find our answer. So I always separate out my tens first. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'm going to take out 25 and push these together. So we have the answer of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. Excellent. Let's do one more of those. Let's multiply 6 and 4 by 7 and... Three. All right. So this says we need to multiply 3 and 7 by 4 and 6. 3 times 4, 3 times 6, 7 times 4, 7 times 6. So let's start by multiplying everything by the 4. Start with 3 times 4. Three times 4. And then 7 times 4. Four. Then we'll do three times six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven times six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. There we go. So let's start here. What is three times four? Three, six, nine, 12. It can also really help you with your math facts. Let's do 
do seven times four. Seven, 14, 21, 28. Now we go down here. Three times six. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. And we come here, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. And we make 42. Okay, so we want to find out what all this is together. I'm going to put all my tens together, and then we'll add these up. So. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, that works out nice. So I'll exchange these for 20. And we can see we have an answer of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There we go. So 3 and 7 times 4 and 6 equals 100. So let me show, show you how you can write this one down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an example of this on paper. So I'm going to look at three and four. So one, two, three. And four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to multiply this by 5 and 3. Okay, so this says we have to take 3 and 4 times th 5 and 3. So 3 times 5, 3 times 3, 4 times 5, 4 times 3. So let's draw this out. We're going to start by taking everything by 5 first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see I have 5 one time. 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times. And then I can color it in. All right. Now we're going to take 4 times 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Four times. Cool. So let's figure out how much these are. So we have three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So fifteen. Now we have four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So we have twenty plus fifteen, thirty-five. So this first one. All equals 35. Now we have to multiply everything by 3. So I'm going to do 3 times 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh, I get this nice square. And then we have 4 times 3. All right, let's figure out how much these are. So three, six, nine, four, eight, twelve. So twelve plus nine. Two plus nine is eleven. Exchange. One plus one is two. So we have twenty-one and thirty-five. Five plus one is six. Three plus two is five. So 3 and 4 times 5 and 3 equals 56. So we're essentially just doing the same thing that we did with the beads. We're just doing it on graph paper. I've attached graph paper as well as beads you can print out if you haven't already done that for other lessons. And you can just use those. And then for parentheses, you can just draw like a big, you know, a big parenthesis like that and then just cut it out and use those. Okay, so that's pretty much it. What's nice about this lesson is if you're still working on those facts, 
you can count the beads or you can count the squares that you've squares and rectangles that you've drawn okay all right guys thanks so the distributive law of multiplication states that you must distribute or pass out the multiplication across all of the terms or all of the numbers okay so that means we're going to multiply three times four and three times six and seven times four and seven times six all right